Hello, everyone. My name is Michael. I'd just like to welcome you to your class. So we'll start off in a cross leg as either position. Place your hands wherever it is most comfortable for you. Sit with a long spine. Relax your shoulders. And when you feel ready, gently close your eyes. Just let your mind and body settle on the mind. Notice any sounds that might be around you. The birds, the wind. Maybe there's a car passing by. Just continue to observe her natural breath. Open the glass, we'll chant three ohms. We'll place our hands at heart center. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lower your shoulders all the way down. Inhale. And begin. Oh. Oh. Day. Start to warm up. So inhale, raise your arms, join your palms. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, raise your arms, join your palms. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, raise your arms, join your palms. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, raise your arms, interlace your fingers over the top of your head. Stretch up and reach up as much as you can. Sit the long spine. Exhale, lean over to your left hand side. Feel a stretch in the right hand side of your body. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, lean over to your right hand side and feel a stretch grow on the left hand side of your body. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, arms down. Move into a twist. Place your right hand on your left knee. Left hand behind your back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and look over your left shoulder. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. We'll move to the other side. Place your left hand on your right knee, right hand behind your back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and look over your right shoulder. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. From here, move around to a tabletop position. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees in line with your hips. Do some cacao. Inhale, tailbone rises, belly falls, head up. Exhale, tuck your tailbone at your spine, head down. Inhale, tailbone rises, belly falls, head up. Exhale, tuck your tailbone at your spine, head down. Just continue this, follow your own natural breath. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. Tuck your toes. Lift yourself back up into downward facing dog. Head to the back of your legs. Warm up your calves, your hamstrings. From here, very gently walk your feet towards your hands. Keep the bend in your knees. Very slowly, rise up to a standing position, vertebrae by vertebrae. Stand towards the top of your mat. We'll move to two rounds of Siri Nuris Gamma A. Inhale, raise your arms, join your palms. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, half lift, straight back. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
We'll hold here for five breaths. Don't worry if your heels don't come down to the back of the mat. Inhale, step or jump towards the top of your mat. Half lift, straight back. Exhale, fall forward over bent knees. Inhale, raise your arms. Join your palms. Exhale, to last mat. Inhale, raise your arms. Join your palms. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale. Half lift, straight back, exhale, hands down, step back, lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. We'll hold here for five breaths. Keep a bend in your knee, keep your neck in line with your back. Inhale, step or jump towards the top of your mat. Half lift, straight back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, raise your arms. Join your palms. Exhale, Tadasana. Place your hands at heart center. Take one or two breaths here. Rotate back around at your right foot. Take a wide stance here. Feet roughly and distance apart. Rotate your right foot out by 90 degrees. Bend your right knee. Inhale, raise your arms to shoulder level. Exhale, look towards your right palm. Warrior two. We'll hold here for five breaths. Really try and stretch out as much as you can between your arms and sink your hips down as much as you can. Exhale, place your right forearm on your right thigh. Reach up over your head with your left arm. You can look forward or maybe look towards your left palm. TT pars the canastana. I will hold here for five breaths. The shield stretch put on the side of your body. Inhale, bring yourself back to center, straighten your knee, rotate your right foot in by 90 degrees. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale. Raise your chest, chin, exhale, fall forward from your hips. Inhale, half lift, and no lower back issues, just stay here. Otherwise, exhale, fall forward. We'll hold here for five breaths. Parasita Padasana C. Really try and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Feel the stretch go down the backs of your legs. Inhale, bend your knees very gently. Come back to a standing position. Unlock your fingers. Rotate your left foot out by 90 degrees. Bend your left knee. Inhale, raise your arms to shoulder level. Exhale, look towards your left palm. Warrior two. We'll hold here for five breaths. Exhale, place your left forearm on your left thigh. Reach up over your head with your right arm. Look forward or maybe look towards your right palm. Your TT pairs of Kanasana will hold here for five breaths. And just feel the stretch in the opposite side of your body. Inhale, bring yourself back to center, straighten your knee, shuffle your right foot towards your left. Turn to your left, step towards the top of your mat. Place your hands at heart center. Take one or two breaths here. Rotate back around with your right foot. We'll move into balancing pose. Shift your weight into your right leg. Bring your left foot onto your calf bar. Bring it to the inside of your right thigh, never on your knee. Inhale, bring your hands to heart center. Find your focus point, find your drishti. If you feel comfortable here, if you like, you can inhale, raise your arms up over your head. We'll hold here for five breaths.
Exhale, lower your arms down. Very gently guide your knee back to center. Shake out your legs. We'll move to the other side. So shift your weight into your left foot. Bring your right foot onto your left calf or the inside of your left leg, never on your knee. Inhale, bring your hands to heart center. Find your focus point, find your drishti. If you feel comfortable, you can inhale, raise your arms up over your head. We'll hold here for five breaths. Just notice all the little micro movements in your foot, helping to keep you balanced. Exhale, hands down. Very gently rotate your, or guide your right knee back to center. Turn to your left, step towards the top of your mat. We'll move through a vinyasa flow. So inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale. Half lift, straight back, exhale, hands down, step back, lower yourself down, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, step or jump towards the top of your mat, very gently come down to a seated position. From here, we move into Mary Shasana C. So if you bring your, stretch your right leg out in front of you, bring your left leg over your right leg. Place your left hand behind your back. You can grab your left leg with your right arm like this, or you can place your right elbow on the inside of your left thigh. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist and look over your left shoulder. We'll hold for five breaths. When you're twisting, make sure you twist from your lower ribcage and not your lower back. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. Gently guide your left leg back over your right leg. Stretch your left leg out in front of you. Bring your right leg over your left leg. Place your right hand behind your back. You can grab your right leg with your left arm like this. Or if you like, you can place your left elbow on the inside of your right thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist them up over your right shoulder. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. From here, we're moving to Janu Sarasana A. So bring your left foot towards your sitting bone, right leg out in front of you. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, fall forward. Grab your shin, ankle, or hook your big toe. Inhale, half lift. And no lower back issues. Just stay here. Otherwise, exhale, fall forward. We'll hold for five breaths. Forward falling poses are really good for calming your mind and body as they activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Inhale, bring yourself back up to center. From here, stretch your left leg out in front of you. Bring your right foot towards your sitting bone. Inhale. Raise your arms, exhale, fall forward, grab your shin, ankle, or hook your big toe. Inhale, half lift. Anyone with lower back issues, just stay here. Otherwise, you can exhale and fall forward. We'll hold here for five breaths. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. From here, we'll cross our legs, roll ourselves forward. Step back into a plank position. Very gently lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step or jump towards the top of your mat. From here, come down to the seated position. Very gently roll yourself down, vertebrae by vertebrae onto your mat. Move into bridge pose, place your heels towards your sitting bones. Move. Inhale, lift your hips up off the mat. If you like, you can interlace your fingers, roll your shoulder blades together. And really try and lift your hips up as high as you can. We'll hold here for five breaths.
Exhale, very gently. Lower your hips, don't launch your mat. You can repeat the bridge pose or a wheel pose as part of your practice. You can move into that now with me. So place your hands by your head, fingertips pointing towards you. Inhale, lift your hips, chest and head up off the mat. We'll hold here for five breaths. Exhale very gently, lower your head, chest and hips down onto the mat, cross your legs, roll yourself forward, place your hands on your shin, chins, and just arch your back. This is just a counter pose for your back bending that we just did. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. From here, cross your legs, roll yourself forward. Step back into a plank position. Very gently lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come back to the tabletop position. We're going to move into dolphin pose now. So place your elbows down onto the mat. To get the correct distance, just place your hands to the outside of your elbows, that's when you know that you have the correct distance. Then interlace your fingers in front of you. For the dolphin pose, we never actually place our head down onto the mat. This is just how you practice for a headstand. You build up your shoulder strength. So we'll move into the dolphin pose. You lift yourself up onto your feet and we'll hold here for 10 breaths. Don't place your head down onto the mat. If you, if you like, you can roll yourself backwards and forwards on your toes. It's a good way to build strength into your shoulders. Exhale, drop your knees down onto the mat. Move into child's pose, bring your knees to the edge of the mat. Throw your sitting bones back onto your feet, stretch your arms up in front of you. Maybe rest your head on the mat. We'll hold here for five breaths. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. Step back into plank. Inhale, step your right and left foot forward very gently. Bring yourself down to a seated position. From here, we're going to lie down on our mat into Shavasana. So you bring your heels towards the edge of your mat. Let your arms fall away from your body, palms facing up. Chin gently tucked towards your chest. And when you feel comfortable and ready, gently close your eyes. Just observe your natural breath. Relax your entire body. I'm going to leave you now in Shavasana. Stay here for as long as you think it's necessary. Thank you very much for coming to your class. I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.